Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For our first deck of the day, which is going to be um, Mono White Angels. So this is basically just you know seeing if we can play an angel deck where where we're just like a, a mid-range deck where we're trying to curve out. Uh, we have all of our good two drops and then a bunch of angels. And the reason why we're playing mono white is so that we can try out Benelish Marshall in there as well. You know, playing Benelish Marshall in a multicolor deck is pretty tough. And basically white gives you kind of everything you need with this deck anyway. We don't have, the, the main thing we're really missing here is we don't have great card advantage with just mono white. There's not really, white doesn't really have it like too many good card advantage engines, but hopefully we just curve out consistently all the time and uh and you know work out so we do have you know some green sources here with sun petal grove and temple garden and those are just to be able to activate shalai sometimes so that's that's the only reason why we have like these eight green lands to so sometimes we can activate shalai uh, i also do have two colorless lands which of course those do not cast benelish marshall but overall uh we're at uh, 25 lands, so it's still 23 white sources going towards Benelish Marshall, and that's still a lot. That's, you know, so 23 white sources hopefully gets us there. Field of Ruin can be pretty important at destroying, especially destroying um, Azkanta, this, the Sunken Ruin, whenever that thing's flipped, and then Arch of Orozka, if we do get into a late game, that's something that can give us some card advantage there. Sideboard, we don't have, like, the best options because, of course, we're just one color. We have Demystify for the uh, Wilderness Reclamation matchup, and we have Spyglass to be able to name, like, Ascanta and Teferi for control. We got a fourth of Johnny for, like, control decks if we want that. Uh, then we got some some removal here because I'm only going with the two bindings in the main. So we got the other two bindings in the board. But then we also got four baffling ends for whenever we play against aggro. We can bring all those in. A couple sell the wreckages for Sultai and another Shalai for aggro and for especially mono red. And that's our deck. Hey Twisted Dew. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the buck there. Cheers. Alright, so let's get started. Mono White Angels. Uh, this song is One More Light by Lincoln Park. And I try to match with quasi duplos earlier. Traditional constructed. Okay, I'm gonna update this. Go from four to five. How does the new practice mode work? I don't have any idea. Hey, Gachi, I hope you're having a great day, too. Uh, Doom Waffle, we didn't get a notification. Try re try restarting your... Or just refreshing the stream, and it should pop up. Well, I really hope Takali Honor Guard's good. You should have, like... If you look in your chat, uh, like the top of your chat, there should be, like, a notification of, like, hey, let Tatsuyun's MTG know that you... Resubbed or something like that. These are some cool sleeves. Ah, the Simic ones. Very nice. All right, glad we drew that land. Danto Vanguard into History Banalia is a very aggressive start. This does look like a, a matchup for Takali Honor Guard. I guess I probably could have assumed that with the basic force and just led with Honor Guard. 
I know, 3,000 is so much. As far as gems go for like the these sleeves and everything. That's why I'm putting for the week. All week I'm doing uh, all donations towards getting gem packs and getting getting these sleeves and stuff like that. All right, let's just go ahead and get get an honor guard in play before they can get even more value off of explore stuff. They already got a free water grave. I do not know if Wizards released the first part of the War of the Spark story. I, I don't believe so. I haven't seen anything about that. Yeah, it's close to $20. $20. I think $20 is like 3,400 gems. So, yeah, it's real close. <laughs> if you were the opponent, you'd be mad at main, main deck honor guard. Well, hopefully you're not so mad at the second main deck honor guard or the third one then. Wait, there's there's going to be a book for this set? That there's the book out on the 23rd? They have been, recently they've been doing... Uh, just like 10 part, 10 ish part, like short stories online. Hmm. Oh, there's going to be two books. Those would be interesting. I'm probably going to get those books. So Teferi's going to be destroying the zombie army. Something we know because of the, the flavor text and everything for that new blue-white sweeper. So we have an interesting choice here. Whether we want to, you know, like play history or resplendent angel and try to kind of stay, stay aggressive there. If we want to really uh, try to mess them up by blowing up this watery grave. That could be their only blue source in their hand. It's also not nece not necessarily their only blue source. We're gonna go with the history banalia. If we if we went field of ruin, then we'd we do field of ruin play honor guard. So this does mean that I'm a little weak to my opponent having a cast down for this honor guard and then being able to play a branch walker. Like if they have cast down branch walker, that's pretty bad news for us. Yeah, Astrological, go ahead. Okay, they could not defeat the Honor Guard. Is the Twitch overlay up? Yeah, Deckmaster. It should be. All right, let's get... I have it pulled up. All right, so we're going to get the settles in and probably all these baffling ends. And maybe bindings. I don't know. That's a lot of stuff. So if we're taking out eight cards, what eight cards are we going to take out? Usually a Dato Vanguard. All right, Gatsby, with the with the skip the line donation for the bling. Love to see some Thran Temporal Gateway junk. We can do that. All right, so Gatsby, you get that's a skip the line donation. So you get to choose if you, if you want to. Okay, so it can be tomorrow. Okay. That's what I was going to ask, if you want that tonight or tomorrow. And do you have any, any time tomorrow that you'd like me to, to play it? All right, anyway, basically, Danto Vanguard, I know I'm taking out. So after that, it's what am I taking out from here?
maybe not four bindings. I don't think I like four bindings and two settles. If we go two binding. Hmm. Maybe no binding. I don't know. I have to cut something really quick. I'm just going to cut a couple type takers. After 7 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Writing that down. Uh, the Soul Type Vanifar list. I guess I didn't really post it. Uh, it's it's in my it's on my stream decker from a while ago, like maybe a week or two weeks or three weeks ago. I didn't update it for today. I don't think I really like this hand. We have three cards that we need to draw two lands just to be able to play. All right, well, this is certainly risky, but going to five is a huge risk. But if we, you know, we got the scry and we're on the draw. If we can curve out Tithe Taker, History, History, Marshall, you know, and a John, you know, like this, this kind of hand could potentially win, but certainly risky. It's also possible we don't do anything. All right, so we're going to have Grand Temporal, Gateway, after seven tomorrow. Okay, that's a that's a good first start. Want to build a decent deck or two for this mode you're in now? What would you suggest is the first two to build? I like any type of play style except long games bore me. Ooh, okay, I was gonna say Sultai, honestly, like Soul Tie was going to be like my number one recommendation, but you can certainly get long games in Soul Tie. So if you get bored by long games, maybe not. Um, I do think Teamer Reclamation is good. And that, that deck should end games pretty quickly. You know, like, you'd combo your opponent off and stuff, and you take a lot of game actions. And so, like, you're the one that's playing a lot of cards. Yeah, aggravated. Yeah, basically, you, yeah, you don't like long games. Um, so, yeah, like, that... That's a good option. Um... Mono Blue is maybe the most popular deck that we play against. So people will, should be kind of ready for Mono Blue, because that's certainly a really, really popular deck in this mode. Gruel Aggro t Track Team, that's a that's a great recommendation right there. Gruel Aggro is a really good one, because that, that deck does beat up on Mono Blue, and it plays fast games. That's a That's a good one. Hmm. Like, I want to play, like, so I'm not going to play Benelish Marshall, but I kind of want to play either History or a Johnny. Let's have a Johnny start going here. I know, like, go, running History into History is usually pretty smart. To fight by your side. Look how far you have come. But I, I like how a Johnny can turn this Tithe Taker into a 3 2 to protect the Johnny. And we can start ticking up and going towards ultimate. Our opponent right now only has the one black source where, you know, they wouldn't have like a contempt right now. Hey, what's up, here to Monkey? So 
so they kept the contempt. That's probably a bad sign for me. Hmm. I guess if they're keeping contempt, we could probably just let this just let this thing hit a Johnny. Are you finished? Strength is born of struggle. That's a lot of damage if our opponent just takes this. It's 15. Oh man, I can't. Yeah, I can't wait for the next set. I've always been, you know, I've always been somebody who likes planeswalkers quite a bit. I like the, you know, I like playing with with planeswalkers, and it's gonna be pretty exciting. Is it okay? So it's the thirty first today. So they don't have any they don't have a second black source. They kept this contempt without the second black source. Alright, if I put the token if I put it on Benelish Marshall and I attack with all and they double block Benelish Marshall, I have Marshall traded with Hydroid Crasis and they take 12. Deliver us to victory. I think that's okay. The Lyra does not die to finality. Let's get a Lyra out there. And I think that's game. Mono White Angels. We finally played our first Angel of the match, like the turn before our opponent concedes. Likely concedes. All right, we are one and zero. Good start. Yeah, we're basically mono white aggro with the angel plan backed up. We just we don't have the one drops. We're mono white mid range. Deck, I do have deck master on, or it's up. I don't know, let me try, I'll try closing it and restarting it. Because that's, you're not the first person to ask about it, and it, it doesn't look correct. Okay, there we go. Now it looks correct. Because now it's like all this stuff is green. Before it had like, one of them was like white, and a couple were red, and... Perfect. All right, so now it's working. I think we can ditch this land. We're going to need some other spells, too.
Yeah, Coffee Master. I... I did not. I tried I tried a couple of things and I just... I kind of hated everything I, I tried. I tried like blue-black with like the surveil thing that you, you pay three life to, to put back into your hand. And I, I tried like going green for... I tried like white with Vanguard or green with uh, Lich, pay for life. Kind of hated everything I was I tried. So, yeah, I was already planning on playing Grixis Dragons today. So, would you want me to play Grixis Dragons again? Uh, like, you know, like tomorrow as well? Or, I don't know, I just don't think that Font of Agonies things works. Vartal, you have a Font of Agonies deck that runs Lich's Mastery? Yeah, if you if you send that to me, Varchild, I can I can do that. If Coffee Mastered is up for that. Oh, you were kidding? Oh. Dang. Our opponent have negate. It's certainly possible. It's pretty likely. Yep, they sure did. Unfortunately, that's kind of the only thing we had there. All right, history. This overall, this was like the matchup that I was not exactly wanting to face. How how we talked about before, uh, we don't have a ton of card advantage in this deck, and so we can certainly get ran out of cards uh, from a control deck. Interestingly enough, our opponent has ditched two to fairies. Uh, Honor Guard's our worst card to draw. At least it's not a land, I suppose. I'm just going to be activating Archer Rosca here instead of playing Honor Guard. I think it's pretty likely we see a Kai's Wrath here anyway. Gate. Rude. Yeah, I would much rather see best of three than what the invitational format was. So right there, it's possible I should just play my land, play Honor Guard, and not draw a card yet with Arch of Araska. Because we turned on Thought Erasure in that way. No the... friend of mine fights alone. Oh wait, they exiled the Vanguard. So I guess we're gonna get Tithe Taker. The main plus of um, drawing the card the first, though, was that we could have drawn a Tithe Taker or an Adanto Vanguard, a better two drop to play than Honor Guard. That was the main reason to activate first. Yeah, the Invitational was certainly a huge success, though, but uh, the format for myself, it's just not, not something I was too interested in. Hmm. We have two extra mana with Arch. Dang. Okay, well, that still works. I was going pretty greedy there. I was seeing... Because if we drew a land, I was going to be able to play the Resplendent Angel also. 
So that works. We can have the Tithe Taker get countered. You are capable and we still got to draw an extra card. You. So we still got to play a spell and draw an extra card. That's, that's a fine turn. I am not. Let's skip to the good part. Hey, what's up, Hude? Correct. I could have cast both angels, but against a Kaya's Wrath deck, you don't necessarily want to flood the battlefield that that much. So we have seen two Kaya's Wraths already. Last time they see they used a Kaya's Wrath already on just a one three, which kind of is kind of telling me that like they just have another Kaya's Wrath in their hand. Otherwise, I don't think they. If they don't have another Kaya's Wrath, I don't think they would have used the Kaya's Wrath on the one three. Stop that now! Hey, Papa Tim. No time for going a break. good. Going good. Yeah, they certainly looking forward to all the. The planeswalkers from the next set. All right, and there's that other, that other Kai's wrath. Called it. Lend you my strength. All right, attack for attack to fairy for two. This work. Do, do, do. All right, that's three mortifies down. Three mortifies down. There's only one more in their deck. Have seen that coming. Yeah, Archer Veraska has done so much work for us this game. Yeah, so how do we deal with Planeswalkers? Yeah, we can attack them, or we can use Ixalan's Binding to exile. That's how we deal with Planeswalkers. Do they have Mortify number four? Possibly. So, you know, casting that free combat because I want to get the counter on Adanta Vanguard, but I want to get the counter on Resplendent Angel also. But just going with Resplendent because that allows us to activate Arch. No, I don't I don't really have too many rules about posting the link in chat as long as it's, you know, a, a useful link that, you know, somebody else is Yeah, like you're you're good. You can post the link. You know, if you're referring to something else. Yeah. You know, if it's something helpful, it's all good. All right, so against control. A Johnny in. Spyglass in. So binding. Well, I guess I, I just want to take Takali Honor Guard out. So I guess we can take those out. And then I guess I'm leaving two binding in. I don't really like binding in this matchup, though, because of Mortify. Honestly. But I guess it's... 
I guess it's better than any of these other things. Could play Demystify to, to destroy Search for Escanta, but it's, you know, if, if we draw this later and they already have their Escanta flipped, we're just like, what are we doing with this? All right, let's try this. All right, Mulligan. All right, let's see how this works. Go, Tithe Taker, go. There's kind of a, a really good thing about our deck is even though we don't have the we don't necessarily have the card advantage to usually stay with control. You know, the last game we had Arch of Araska, which is really good. We have two very solid two drops uh, with, between Tithe Taker and Adanto Vanguard for this matchup. Unfortunately, we don't have any in our hand anymore. Thought Erasure is also a solid two drop. But. That's certainly something that's pretty good for us. Proud to have come so far. I will then. So if I minus strength. a Johnny here, we get Tithe Taker, and then a Johnny's at two loyalty. So they have Hostage Taker attack. I have to jump block with Tithe Taker. And it's just not. And so then. I will. Yeah, so we just, we just have to jump. And then it's at three loyalty. We have the 1 1. Uh, after we tick up again, and we'd have like the 1-1 one, one be a 2-2, two, two, and then we'd have to jump the Resplendent Angel if they have an answer to the Lyra. I guess still if they have an answer to Lyra, they get, they're just going to be attacking a Johnny for lethal also, so we'll get it now. Maybe I should have got it last time. We still need you. At least now, if they just kill Lyra, a Johnny's still dead, but we didn't have to chump block with Tithe Taker. All right, what if I don't take out Takali Honor Guard? What if we leave that card in? Like, they'll just kill Honor Guard before they start hostage taking, right? Go it's a on, waste of an attack on with the hostage taker there. The hostage taker should definitely be attacking us. Honestly, I should probably just have more Ixalan's Bindings, so I can, like, Binding the Resplendent Angel, Binding Lyra. Because then if they destroy Binding, it goes back to us. They did Shock in there, so they likely have a Negate as well. So yeah, I think this game's over. I think our, our opponent just needs to... Activate Resplendent Angel, and we're dead. Alright, Hostage Taker is definitely a problem. Hostage Taker takes Spyglass also. Hostage Taker is just really a, is a, is a really big problem.
Do you think we'll get any cool lands? Like, they already previewed some lands here today. We're not getting any more dual lands in War of the Spark, if that's what that's what you're referring to. There will be zero dual lands in the set. That's the problem is Honor Guard stops Hostage Taker, but besides that, it just sucks. It's terrible. And they can easily just kill Honor Guard before playing Hostage Taker. It's not like that's that's a difficult issue. Hmm. Oh, why do they have to have hostage takers? Baflian doesn't exile hostage taker. Because, like, they're not going to, like, they're a deck filled with removal, so, like, they just won't play, like, their two hostage takers they have. Like, I don't think they have any more than two hostage takers in their deck, right? Like, they probably have exactly two. Like, maybe three? I would, I would be pretty surprised if they have three in their deck. Honestly, if they would have that many sideboard slots to that card. And so they would just simply hold on to it until they draw, you know, one of their million other removal spells. And then kill the Honor Guard and then play Hostage Taker. And besides that, Honor Guard's just being like this 1-3. I can get rid of anything, living or dead. <laughs> Not on my watch. Kaya really matches up well against my hand here. Last time they had the hostage takers that matched up really well. This time Kaya matches up really well. Ugh. Yeah, the Kaya basically just trades with history. I think I'll get rid of these. Do you think they play a basic swamp or a basic plains? What's less likely? Do they have a basic swamp or a basic plains? I guess I'll worry about that next turn. You won. This time. Guess we'll be able to see one more land drop that they play here. Ooh, they did not have a land drop. So you think it's more likely that they have a planes? So I should blow up the swamp then? Oh, less likely they have a planes. So I should blow up planes. Most likely have swamp on island. I think maybe I'll go after the black source because of hostage taker. Well, that. This is Esper Control. Yeah, we're playing against Esper Control, yes. Yeah, that's true. So if we. If we do destroy the Hallowed Fountain and then they get Swamp. Then they could have Cry the Carnarium, which would be, you know, real trouble. So we probably don't want to help them have Cry the Carnarium. 
I, I do like just taking a black source out of their deck so that you know they, they have they have one less black source in their deck that they're drawing into how they're trying to draw lands because you know they have all the cards like Vras's Contempt and like we said Crowther Carnarium, Kai's Wrath they have a lot of double black spells there we go 2-0. and oh. Mono White Angels is just kind of doing its thing. Just being consistent. Doing its thing. Ooh, we got a pack. Are we getting gems? Or do we get a mythic? Gems. 20 gems. I'll take it. Add it to the gem, gem counter. It's worth it. Hey, Spencer, doing really good. Let's see, we'll go ahead and uh, mulligan. Oh, really? The, the gem counter went up before the card revealed? That's a spoiler. All right, so the opponent's also on six. We're both on six. We already have all the rares from the set. That's why we get gems instead. There's no rares left to open, so it was going to be a rare, but we already have all the rares, so we get 20 gems. <laughs> you... Mono blue. All right, so the opponent's going with the Ravnica Allegiance Islands. We have the Ravnica Allegiance Plains. They have the new arena five color sleeves. We have the new arena white sleeves. I think it's just pretty likely that a Johnny gets countered and less likely that a Danto Vanguard gets countered because our opponent needs exactly Essence Capture. Which, they did have exactly Essence Capture. But, good news is now they don't have an Essence Capture for Alira. So, you know, we hit this land drop. You know, they could still have Retort. But then, hopefully, they don't have another counter spell for the next Lyra. I don't think the opponent, like, if I was on the opponent's side, I would not put the counter on the Terramander. You don't have to. It's put a counter on up to one target creature. You can choose zero. Now they don't get to adapt to the Terramander, so the Terramander is only going to be a 2-2 now. Alright, and there we go. Lyra, of course, is a 6-6, because Benelish Marshall. It's unfortunate. So they are tapped out. What's the best play while they're tapped out? Do I just, like, resolve this at Johnny now? They could attack everything at a Johnny, though, and kill a Johnny, but then I kill one of their things. We stand together. Look how far you have come. I like getting a Johnny in play now because uh, it plays around Spell Pierce and Negate and those kind of counter spells. We've Basically, never let them use those things. So, 
so yeah you used to be able to 619 you used to be able to change the basic lands pretty easily you cannot anymore uh, easily on arena you basically have to import the deck list with the path. basic land that you want there's different ways to be able to do that Alright, Johnny was the wrong play. Should have played Shalai. Why not block with Lyra? Because it would die to dive down. Our opponent was telling us that they had to dive down with that attack. Alright, should have played Lyra. Johnny ended up being the wrong play. This is a match where I'm boarding out of Johnny. So Danto Vanguard and Takali Honor Guard both are a little are not great. Honor Guard, of course, is, is basically only good at stopping Trickster and doesn't do anything else for us whatsoever. But it stops Trickster. That's really not very much for a card. Because the 1-3 body does actual nothing. So it all it does is stop Trickster. Then you have Danto Vanguard, which attacks pretty well unless your opponent has a Tempest Gin, or if they have a Trickster, it's you know, pretty bad because you can like pay your four life to keep it alive and then they trickster it and it's not even indestructible anymore. So neither of these cards are cards I like too much. Adanta Vanguard or Takali Honor Guard. Let's go we could go two and two and keep in two of both. Or I could just go I want to keep in a, at least a couple Takali Honor Guards to stop Trickster. I'm gonna at least do this. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just cut him down two and two. Uh, do you think the new Herald of the Dread Horde has a place in Mono Black Zombies? I don't know exactly what that card does. I guess I could have, like, Mythic Spoiler up so I can answer questions. Because, you know, you know, like, these cards are so new that I just don't have all all the text on these cards memorized or anything by now. Herald of the Dread Horde. Four mana, three, two, zombie, warrior. When Herald of the Dread Horde dies, I'm asked to. Nope. I would not put that card in zombies. Four mana for a three, two is just not very good. Alright, gonna go ahead and go with Resplendent Angel here. Be able to have something that blocks the Terramander very well. Yeah, so basically basically you have to you could like export your deck list, 619. You could export your deck list and to like MTG Goldfish or whatever, or just even just like, you know, export it to your notepad. And just like it will say, you know, like, you know, planes, and then it says, you know, like XLN, you know, number 267 or whatever. And then you can you can change that so it's like planes and then whichever planes you want. And see, so you can uh, you can look up online. There's like a list of 
you know, I'm sure there is somewhere on, on some site or Reddit or something where it has all the basics and like what the number is and everything. So you just, you just type in like that number and then you re-import your deck list back to Arena with that and then it'll have the other basic land for you. All right, on the draw, I think I want the other Honor Guard. I don't like Adanta Vanguard even more on the draw. Yeah, cool, good. Hey, Hawkeye, what are you up to? All right, so Honor Guard, let's stop these. Stop tricksters. Basically, honor guard's like the best. Like, it's good when you have. It's, it's good to like protect angels. I'm gonna mulligan this though. I don't like the two colorless lands. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and mulligan this. Gosh. Hmm. It's a similar hand to like what we kept earlier. I do like this if we hit land drops, but I would even want to get to like six land drops with this. Is this better than five cards? I wouldn't. I would be mulliganing this on the play. If we, if we had this six on the play, I'd be mulliganing on the draw with this extra draw step. I'm trying it. Didn't get there. We got there earlier. Same kind of hand. This time we didn't. I'm never playing this history, Benalia. Because I'm just going to be playing these things if we ever get to three mana. I mean, I can't beat the Tempest Gen from here. It's gonna kill me first. It's a tough choice when you're at six cards and have one land, you know? It's, it's difficult. Yeah, you can go to five cards and try to win with five and Certainly could have. Like I said, if I was on the play, I'd be mulliganing that. But. The first game we could have maybe won if I would have played Shalai instead of Lyra. So that was that was the game that was my fault. Was the first game. I don't know if we were even going to win that though. Or if I, if I would have played, sorry, if I would have played Shalai instead of a Johnny. That's not good for us. This is not the matchup for Adanto Vanguard. If we hit our land drops, though, and we get to go Shalai Lyra, we win. So this is, you know, another gamble. Do we hit land drops or not? Love just trading those. Just trading Vanguard 
for a spell is kind of all we want to do um, with this deck. Opponent missed land drop as well. Get some lands. Hooray, there we go. Let's keep getting some more lands. You can do a deck. Yeah, at least last game we had one mana that whole time. At least this time we had two. Why are we complaining? to be able to play Shalai here. Uh, yes, one speed. Okay. We're getting there. Yeah, okay, we're getting there. This will die to some three damage burn spell. Oh, they let it resolve. I was thinking they had uh, the three mana instant in their hand. The, the thing that deals four, you draw three. I think I kind of think they had that card in their hands. Like they have to, right? Like they don't have lands. Risk factors. They have to have like risk factors. It is good and so to see I think you, our opponent friend. thought that they were just going to cast risk factor on my end step. Be but they cannot cast risk factor. Cuz Shalai does not allow them to. We have Hexproof, and Risk Factor says it targets a player. You are capable of more than you assume. All right, I think we got this in here. No, Risk Factor targets a player, so you can't target Shalai. You know, Shalai's not a player. And that's it. Good job, Hawkeye. All right, let's get an extra Shalai in here and all these baffling ends. All the vanguards come on out. I don't hate binding or settle, honestly. Probably better than a Johnny. I get another couple bindings in here because of Frenzy. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah, so basically our opponent needed to cast the risk, like if they had risk factor, of course we don't know if they did or not. Okay, but if they had risk factor, they needed to cast it in, in response to me casting Shalai and not let Shalai resolve first. It, I guess it's possible they didn't have risk factor too though, but in, if that's the case, I don't know what they have in their hand because they didn't have lands. They weren't playing lands. They just had other cards in their hand. I don't really want to necessarily comment on the leaked cards because we don't, you know, we just don't know if they're accurate or like if those are if those are real cards or not and anything. So I don't really want to comment on them. All 
I don't think there's much reason to use too much mental energy on them. Yes, the reset on Arena for ranked matches just happened. It's a new ranked season right now. Opinion on the Planeswalkers with the static abilities, or yeah, static or triggered. That that was the most surprising thing from today for me, was that we're gonna just have all these Planeswalkers that have um, that have like the static abilities. I'm not at all surprised by the Planeswalkers with only minus abilities. I thought that that was gonna be a thing, but I expected them to be more like. I expected them to be more like uh, sagas where, you know, they start off with like six loyalty and it's minus two each time. And then so like after the third time they, they die kind of thing. I was expecting more of that. Alright, so want the Firebrand out of here because Firebrand makes it so only one burn spell kills Shalai, and I want it to be so that they need two burn spells to kill Shalai. Uh, they just have Coil. I guess Coil makes sense too. So at least with them playing that pre-combat, we know that we are safe to slam down the Angel of Grace. But now I used two bindings and they have Rekindling Phoenix. That was certainly not a card that I was expecting and or prepared for. Rekindling Phoenix is a huge problem. Yeah, definitely consider blocking with Angel of Grace. There. To be able to get the Angel of Grace in my graveyard to be able to gain 10 life. I wanted to kind of wait one more turn, though. Obviously, we're going to die to, like, any burn spell if we didn't draw Lyra, but I really wanted to draw Lyra. I thought, like, even where we were at, that drawing a Lyra was going to be, like, our best chance. And so I was going to see if we could draw Lyra and turn that Angel of Grace into a 6 life link. Um... We did not, but the baffling end works pretty well. Getting that thing out of here. Yeah, we're both drawn lands for the last couple now. Do we want July or Lyra? Is that four lands in a row for them? Yeah, I think that was four lands in a row for them. Hey, 
Go tough for ratio. We drew three lands and five cards. But our, our opponent drew four lands and five cards. We drew a history and a baffling end, and they drew just the chain whirler. Oh, that's a good draw. That's a pretty good draw. We get to attack them down to five. Obviously not like one of our better draws, but it's not a bad one. Because now like they can't just like attack with the rekindling phoenix without because you know we have lethal on the battlefield now, so it's like kind of tough for our opponent to attack. Perfect card. And now they can't target us anymore. Shall I should be able to finish this one off. And that'll be it. Okay, we are three and one. We had like the perfect amount of mana to be able to play last turn to play Shalai and activate. All right, three and one. Let's keep it going, Mono White Angels. Let's keep it going. So if you're just tuning in, you might have noticed that um, this part here, all donations this week from, from today until next Sunday, so like eight days, including today, I'm going to be putting towards cosmetics. I'll be buying the gem packs and, and getting new cosmetics to, uh, you know, make the stream look better and everything, getting more of the 3D cards. The, uh, um, so this is like a great time if you have donation decks, that if, if you were wanting to have a donation deck played anyway. Uh, you know, it's twenty dollars to have your deck played on stream. You can uh, tomorrow. I'm doing a twelve-hour stream, and I I have one deck for tomorrow uh, in the lineup, so I have plenty of room. All the other days are free, also. So basically, you can just donate. Tell me what day and around what time you want your deck played. And yep, I put in all the promo codes. Yep. So lots of information down below about the donation decks as well. So watery gray. Huh? Well, unfortunately, we do not have more lands. Wow. That's a killer. That's That just wins the game right there. Oh, do, do plural, sorry. Does this even work? Okay. There we go. Yeah, they, they won't have hostage take our main deck. Hostage Taker is a sideboard card. I won't hurry. was uncalled for.
the treasure style cards yet? Yes. Yeah, we, we did that on Friday. We played the the treasure format. Multiple Cry of the Carnariums main deck. You know what? I'm not done yet. That's tough. I was feeling good about our our game. So now we know exactly how we need to make attacks. I was feeling good about this game with our two two drops. Right, now what? Um, both of them being pretty good against Kaiserath and everything until they had Cry their Carnarium. And yes, I am just running into Cry to Kaiserath because we're just not we're just not winning if our opponent has Kaiserath basically at all. So I am just running face first into it. Yeah, some people could play, yeah, like up to two Cry in the main deck. I I would not have any Cry in the main deck at all for Esper if I was playing Esper. And I don't think it's, I think it's probably like 50-50 whether people have Cry of the Carnarium or not. They're just activating as Kanta here to look for Kai's Wrath, is my assumption. So the, the main thing that's the problem, again, is if they have hostage takers. That's the thing that we need to be worried the most about. I kind of hope not. Yeah, I would rather just have spot removal instead. I think four Kaya's Wrath's enough sweepers in the in the main deck. I honestly just don't think you need more. And there's a lot of cards that Cry the Carnarium doesn't kill. Um, and you know, like if you're even if you're playing against Mono White, if they just have you know like Benelish Marshall or Venerate Luxodon, they can have they can get out of Cry the Carnarium range pretty easily. Mono Red can just have a lot of burn spells and Chain Whirler and like a bigger Steamkin or something. I don't know. I, would, I wouldn't play Cry the Carnarium. We were... Yes, we were at 18, but we had 0% chance of winning that game. There isn't... There's no way for us to win anymore. Sonic donating $100 for possibly the best MTG streamer out there on Twitch. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Aura Sonic. Wow. Let's get some hype in the chat. Santa Sonic, thank you so much. Alright, so we're getting a gem pack after this. All right, what's our deck? And when when do you want me to play this deck? Also. We got four color gates. All right. Ooh, four color gates with a mortal sun. Okay.
Okay. Yeah, just send me a, just send me a message. You can send me like the message here on Twitch, or you know you can send it to me on Discord. Also. Hmm. It's possible our opponent doesn't have basic island. It's possible. We never know. Ooh, no basics at all? No basics at all. Yeah, I wish I had more Fielder Ruins right about now. Sonic, thank you so much. You're awesome. Sorry, that was just... I'm just excited to go get some gems and get some new cosmetics. So we're two permanents away for the Arch of Araska to turn that on. Please no mortify. Okay, another Kai's Wrath. Alright, so we'll shut down to Fairy. Finding this thing. Arch of Araska turned on. So we'll still have two mana after we activate, so we could play a two drop like a. Ah, oh, dang. The problem is if it's not a 2-drop, then if they just drew Thought Erasure, it turns on their Thought Erasure. Ah, oh, that was the card I wanted last turn. Let's see if we get a land. Not a land. I'm kind of just into just continually drawing an extra card each turn. Wow. How do they keep drawing this cry of the Carnarium? Hmm. Draw a card or play in a Johnny? Together we are unstoppable. When you go towards Deliver ultimating this a Johnny. Victory. Now we could revive Taker. Strength is born of struggle. Hmm. They just didn't even Kai's Wrath last turn. They're just gonna take lethal. All right. Going to game three. So if they're gonna have Thief, I kind of want an, an extra binding. Yep, Tony. This is just um it's just comfortable and this is why, how I like to present myself basically. You know, I'm presenting myself in public and this is how I like to present myself. So So 
So yeah, just leaving, even though Orasonic had that, that big donation, just leaving this at 55 out of 100 cause, towards the gem pack, and we'll just keep resetting it down to zero whenever we get that. So I'll have to see, I'll have to see what we want to spend these gems on, what kind of cosmetic upgrades we want to go get right now. Do you think they should make a Bolas avatar? Definitely. I don't really like how bow ties look too much. I like regular ties. Uh, paper question. Are cards that flip into lands two different cards you need to get? No, it's the same card. They... Didn't I have, like, a Nicol Bolas up here? Yeah. So, like, a Nicol Bolas, for example, it is it is Nicol Bolas on one side, but instead of having the card back on the other, it has the, the other part on the back. So, this is what... Um, the the lands are just like that. Like Search for Escanta has like the land on one side and, and everything like that. Um moment, moment, absorb, swamp, cry. Bunch of stuff. Let's, let's do Teferi. They're gonna kill small creatures pretty well there. Fleck with the two year one sub for the third month in a row. Let's get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much, Fleck. <clears throat> so Flex says, hope they come out with some strong red cards for the mid game. I think Liliana will be decent along with a Johnny. Yeah, we don't see too many. Hmm. Do I want Spyglass to get absorbed? Do I want to go history? We don't usually see too many uh, red mid-range cards these days. You know, we got like Rekindling Phoenix is certainly a standout. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. History with like our opponent's hand isn't particularly strong. Alright, time to start ticking up. Our kinship ensures our victory. That's the problem with Spyglass. They're gonna have me. They're gonna take out a Johnny. So if I get Tithe Taker, Tithe Taker is gonna get Cry the Carnarium to Way. I think it's probably just better to put it see to go tick up what I see on the two. Alright, don't draw Kai's Wrath. So now, so they Spyglass Ajani Adversary Tyrant, so now I can't activate my Ajani anymore. So that Hostage Taker is, was really clutch. Kai's Wrath, of course, is the next really clutch card. They find that. Alright, good, good. Boom, got the land. Make them use this moment of craving. Alright, no Kaya's Wrath. Both these creatures are now lethal next turn. There we go. Alright, we are four and one. 
final boss time. So we've defeated Esper Control twice. We beat Mono Red, but lost to Mono Blue. And... Some other match we won. Oh, then we beat Sultai. So yeah, we've played against, you know, lots of good decks here. Alright, final boss time. And then we have some gems to get after this. No, Tristani would not get the Spyglass back. No, Tristani specifically says uh, each player gains control of creatures they control. So it does not do any other permanent types. Yeah, if you're the monkey, hit that sub button. That's a good question, if there's a way to vote. There's just so many different options. Right? Like, between like the different cards and everything. And I, I do want to get more... I think I want to get... Even though like they cost the 3,000 gems, I want to get more of the, the ones with the Shocklands and the... That's probably a mulligan. The things with the Shocklands and... Uh, sleeves. Fire song? Yeah, donator can certainly decide. So, like, or Aura Sonic, if you... If there's some specific cards or, like, whenever we get to it, if there's any of the guilds that you like more than other guilds. LMK. Alchemy, thanks for that resub there. Welcome aboard. Tajik. Ow. Ooh. I was planning on playing Benelish Marshall, but. I think I like this more. <laughs> uh, Gonjander says, "Just joined the, just joined the stream. Any thoughts on War of the Spark? Go to ten. Yeah, we've been talking about War of the Spark uh, a decent amount today. Okay, so you probably need like some kind of like I need a more more focused question than just you know th thoughts on the the whole sets and everything. That's just so many topics to cover there. No. Takali only disables uh, the ability that would trigger whenever a creature enters the battlefield. Tajik's is an ability that triggers whenever it attacks, not whenever it enters. So it doesn't. So Takali does not stop that from happening. Oh no! It really is really bad news. That is very bad news. We're going to have to draw some kind of angel of our own that can tussle with Adorelia. What do you think about the new land that you sacrifice and can cast spells with Flash? I, I'm a little skeptical about that card in Standard. I could see that being like a one of land and Esper control to be able to have a, a wrath, an instant speed wrath at times. But overall, like most most everything in their deck is instant speed anyway, and having colorless. Uh, having colorless lands is a you you know, has a real to fight alone. real downside when you're trying to play you something like Kaya's Wrath. More than you assume. So why would I not attack with Benelish Marshall? I can't really think of any reason. 
They, of course, can have lethal here. It's certainly possible for them to have lethal. All they need to do is just have draw a white source. A white source gives them lethal. How are we going to kill all these planeswalkers once contempt rotates? There's there's a lot of other things. I mean, there's right now, you know, we have Bedevil, we have Immortal Sun. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, our opponent's going to kill us here. <clears throat> but basically, the main thing is that I don't... Like, a lot of the Planeswalkers aren't necessarily real powerful for Standard. And so... I don't think that Standard's just going to be, like, mono Planeswalkers and stuff like that. It's still, like, if you're playing some of these these Planeswalkers, you, know, you do have to be worried about... Uh, decks that just don't really care about them too much. You know, like, we already see how good Teamer Reclamation is, and almost everything besides Search for Escanta is not leaving that deck. And that's, like, a kind of deck that doesn't care about Planeswalkers. So basically, we'll have to see. Alright, so there. Boros Aggro. How much Baffling End do I want? Probably a decent amount. Got another honor guard. Yeah. As a new player, you should be buying. I would recommend buying Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance packs. Both of those have the dual lands in them, the shock lands, and both of those sets will be legal in standard until the fall of 2020. The other four sets that are on Arena right now won't will not be legal until like they're only going to be legal till this fall. So I wouldn't recommend them. And yeah, you could see with War of the Spark also that's that's another option, of course, but War of the Spark won't have the shock lands and the shock lands are very valuable. So Ravnica Allegiance and Guilds of Ravnica. That's not so bad. Or uh, that get lava coiled, of course, then our angels. I don't really mind the two one getting lava coiled. The new site will be legal on arena on April twenty fifth. And there will not be any dual lands in it. What are you doing over there, opponent? I think Resplendent Angel is probably more valuable than Shalai, so they have another Lava Coil over there. I think I'd rather have the Shalai get Lava Coiled than Resplendent Angel. Arena currently does not have a non-rotating format, but that will likely change this fall uh, when Arena sees its first rotation. Well, when Arena with open beta, that is. If our opponent was holding Justice Strike, they would have likely cast the Justice Strike in response to the Shalai. I don't know. I I'm not afraid of Bolasid at all one one bit for standard. And no, not not worried about that. Hey what's up Eddie? I don't I don't think uh I think that the chance of Bolasid at all being broken is very, very, very slim.
Let's see. Yeah, having a good end of the weekend here. We're going to be back streaming a whole lot starting tomorrow with our 12-hour stream from uh, noon to midnight tomorrow. And then I'll be back on normal stream days, 3 to 10, for the foreseeable future after that. Um, with the next 12-hour streams being whenever we hit any more of these goals, we have six more people signing up for getting a new Quip toothbrush. Three more people getting some new underwear with me undies, or a lot of people signing up for just the the three dollar starter set for Harry's. It's just such a wonderful deal there. Or seven people getting a new watch. So those will be our next twelve hour streams after that. But uh, not taking any. Off days for a while. As far as I know. At least that's not the plan. The new Planeswalkers having a static ability was certainly the most uh, surprising thing for myself. I really don't want to draw another Shalai. I'm basically saving this other Baffling End for a Tajik if they ever get one of those. I kind of want to save the Resplendent Angel until after I start dropping all these Shalai's. So if they have removal, they use it on Shalai, and then I get to play Resplendent Angel. Because we have lots of backup Shalai's, so I, I want them to be the ones that are dying. Honestly, Star Wars is not a series that I have that I know much about, to be honest. I don't have any favorite or least favorite characters. I haven't watched the movies or anything. Yeah, certainly was not ex was not too surprised about the the like planeswalkers only having minus abilities, but I thought they would be more like. Uh, more like the, like we were talking about this earlier, uh, I thought they would be more like Sagas, where you could use them like three times and then they would be done and they would go away kind of thing. And that would be it. I did not block Boros Challenger last turn because they had the mana to be able to pump the Boros Challenger. Uh, these days my go-to show is, is actually Suits. Watch, I'm getting caught up on their latest season right now. The show's not nearly as good as it used to be, to be honest. The last last couple of seasons haven't been nearly as good. But. So we are against the final boss here. We're in game three. Close game three here. I like drawing that Temple Garden because I want to get more mana for a Splendid Angel and it's also a green source for Shalai. Hey, what's up, Glow? Thanks for subbing here with Twitch Prime. Seventy-two. And love it. Sixth mana for Resplendent. 
Another green source for Shalai. Blow says, thanks for consistently putting out so much awesome MTG comment content. Oh, you're welcome, Glow. I'm certainly happy to. I'd say the, the best thing about the newest season of Suits is Dulé Hill being on the on the show now. Uh, the person who's Gus in Psych. Psych is one of my favorites, maybe my favorite show of all time. But of course, Psych uh, was like eight seasons, and it's not, you know, it. It ended a while ago, so there's no new episodes. Yeah, you like Psych and White Collar? Both, yeah, those are two of my very favorite shows. I like both of those more than... Uh, both of those more than Suits, but Suits is the one still going. Not really attacking with Shalai, because I feel like our opponent could have like a like some seal aways maybe. And they like seal away my Shalai and then seal away my resplendent angel. Oh Prugor, what do you think of Fanon County? I'm very familiar with that county. Favorite Game of Thrones character is... Um, Peter, is it Dinklage? Is that correct? Is that a pronunciation that sounds correct I guess it's time just to start activating the Shalai now yes yeah, a Tyrion okay I thought Tyrion Tyrion I thought that was his dad but I guess not I guess that's him because everybody in chat saying that's him but, like, the first person that said Tyrion, I was thinking that was his father. Oh, that's Tywin? Oh, okay. That's that's close. I was close. All right, so we'll just have the Cell the Wreckage chilling here uh, that we most likely won't use, and then we'll just activate Shalai. Baffling End can target creatures that with converted mana cost three or less. Uh, so we could target Boros Challenger, or we could target v Vampire Token. Lyra has a converted mana cost of five, and Phoenix has a converted mana cost of four. So I don't think the Baffling End gives us lethal. Ooh. It's like, what's the point of this attack? Like, I could just block with this 5-5 five, five angel that has hexproof. Like, why... Why attack here? They just wanted to try to sneak in damage. And 
again, not attacking where she'll lie. Because they're sitting with like seal aways. Don't want them to be able to use it. Use them. And that's it. Final boss defeated. Hey, Jelly. Thanks for the cheers. All right, we got 60 gems, too. We'll certainly take those gems. Absolutely. All right, so we are... Yeah, I got to five wins. So Mono White Angels felt pretty good there. You know, the fact that we beat Esper Control twice was uh, pretty pretty big, in, in my opinion. Because uh, I could certainly see that being a, a tough matchup. But, you know, we won, we beat it twice. It wasn't necessarily super fluky. How We didn't just only beat it uh, one time. Hey, what's up, Recruiter Shark? Uh, Zerf, the weekend's been really good. It's been nice and relaxing. And, um, yeah, it's been a good weekend for sure. So, yeah, no Immortal Sun either. Uh, yeah, because we're playing, like, the Ajani's and everything. And, yeah, the deck felt pretty good. The only match we lost was to Mono Blue. And I think our Mono Blue matchup's honestly pretty good. We had one close game that we lost to Game 1. And then Game 3, we just, you know, mulliganed into a one-lander and didn't hit land drops. But with all these Angels and everything, I actually kind of like our, our Mono Blue matchup. So, that one, uh, so that's not so bad. So we'll have to play some Mono White Angels again here sometime soon. How does this deck compare to the Selesnya Angel version is a question here. Uh, it's basically the same except for instead of playing Benelish Marshall, you're playing Vivian Reed, basically, for like the, the Selesnya version that I, I was playing. That's basically the difference. And so, you you know, without Benelish Marshall, you aren't quite as aggressive, but Vivian gives you a lot of card advantage. And that's the thing that Mono White is missing is the card advantage but um arch of Orozco was awesome for us for sure it, we had it out against esper twice like two games uh we're drawing extra cards with arch and so it was really uh real clutch for us and yeah takali was was real strong yeah like our, our deck worked out really well even bellish marshall was was very strong for us i really liked it so there we go mono white angels if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.